Hey guys, it's me Sam and today I am doing an updated version of what is in my handbag. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I use two different types of bags throughout the week and I also like to chop and change my handbags to match my outfits because I'm anal like that I suppose you could say. Um, in case you don't know, I've got many, 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 many handbags, lots of handbags and um as i said it, it all depends on what i'm wearing and you know what, what colors i'm wearing and, and i just like everything to match but uh in the week obviously while i'm at work i tend to use quite a big bag because i tend to have to carry a lot of things f to work with me for example you know i like to take a, a water bottle with me usually this one i found this in primark i think i paid three pounds for it and it is brilliant because i like to have fruit infused water so you've got this bit that obviously goes in and you put the fruit in there and you fill it with water and i tend to leave it overnight so it can all merge together so when i take it to work with me in the, in, in the morning i've got nice fruit infused drink ready to rock and roll i suppose you could say so i always like to have that in my bag but obviously i don't keep it in my bag because i do like to wash them on a daily basis i also tend to make my own lunch to take to work with me so normally i would take that with me in some sort of container a variety of different containers so i'm, I'm not going to show you on but uh the containers what more can i say and um as well as that i also like to take a smoothie with me for my breakfast in the morning which i normally put in either this jar or this jar i love my mason jars i used to have another one which had a handle on it and it also had little bits at the top where i could actually put the straw into what i did have until i was trying to get something out of my cupboard where i kept that particular jar and i ended up knocking it out of the cupboard and smashing it to smithereens and can i find a little one like it anywhere can i echoes like so as well as those my smoothies in the morning for my breakfast i also like to take with me a green tea and i usually make it put it in this take it to work with me so as soon as i get into work I don't have to go off into the kitchen to make myself a drink. I can just obviously sit down, load up my computer and drink this while I'm loading all the tabs that I need for the day. Well, I did when I was at Logic. It's a little bit different now, obviously, because I've been starting my new job. But this I also found. In fact, I think I found them all in Primark apart from this. I found this one in Asda. And I think I paid five pounds for it. But these two I also found in Primark. I believe I paid two pounds for that. And I believe I paid three pounds for this. But I love this. It's it's, it's not it's not meaning me. It's it's saying I'm hot, and it's it's really good at keeping drinks hot for some time so as you can see that is why i need to use quite a large bag for work in the week and i'm just going to show you I mean, this is the last bag that i used in the week it would have been thursday when i was at work my last day of work and this is the bag that i used that day i found this bag in primark some of you might gather I do tend to buy a lot of things from Primark. I love Primark. It's just such a brilliant store. And, you know, it's not just for clothes. You can buy things for the house as well. And it's just brilliant. I love Primark. Primark rocks as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, I came across this. I think I paid 10 quid for it. And let's have a look at what's in this bag. Because I don't believe I've actually emptied it since. Okay, so I've got some microbrewing because at the moment I've got a really bad tough, it's broke and I can't afford to get it fixed at the moment so I'm basically drugging myself up keeping the pain away with these and I tend to just keep those 
in there so if it did play up at work then I could just pop a couple of those and I'll be fine okay what we've got here oh these are the notes that I put together for my second job interview this is my presentation I don't have to read it out very quickly to you just so you can have a bit of an insight as to what it was that I said so grab yourself a quick drink I'm going to get through this as quick as I can I'm talking about drinks I'm just having myself a quick green tea with some lemon and I just thought it'd be nice for me to read this out to you because it also gives you a sort of an insight into me and my job experience. So let's begin very quickly. Let's do this. My experience in telesales began in 2012 when I worked for a home improvement company and it was my duty to call customers at home to ask to introduce the services offered and to offer them a free quotation. After that, I worked for several other companies where I performed similar duties, but in a business to business capacity. In 2015, I was lucky enough to be offered the position of marketing executive for Image Technique, who is a signage manufacturer. And initially, it was my role to increase their client base and to generate appointments for the sales team to meet the clients to discuss their requirements further. And due to my previous experience, I was able to bring with me skills that I had developed and introduce them to the sales team so as to introduce a new way of developing clients and business. Over time I proved I had a good insight into sales and began dealing with clients myself and also winning tenders so as to bring business into the company. Because of this I was promoted to sales executive and continued to win tenders with companies such as Boston Tea Party, EBC and the Jockey Club. Since being made redundant from Image, I have been working for companies on a temporary basis and currently work as a contact centre advisor. I have recently began seeking a new position within sales and came across the position that you have here as a telesales executive. I feel that I would make a suitable candidate and I understand that it would be my position to contact customers so as to introduce them to the services and the products that you offer. By doing this, I would not only be able to ask them questions in regards to their requirements, but to also answer their questions in regards to the products and the company. I also understand that I would need to document all calls on a company's database, and as I have experience with working with different databases over the years, for example, Salesforce, Pipedrive, and even simple ones created using Excel, I understand the importance of recording data for future use. This next bit is the bit I think got me the job, personally. I am aware that Judd Medical was established in 1997 and as you move to your current premises in 2012 after moving from Worcester Road in the town centre. I also understand that Judd is one of a few British manufacturers of surgical instruments that are created by your sister company, Incas Surgical Limited, and that you have a large established customer base in both the NHS and private sectors. Although I have no current knowledge about medical products, I can say that I am a very quick learner and when I first started the image, I knew absolutely nothing about signage and now I could probably bore you to death with the knowledge that I did learn. If I am given the opportunity to join the sales team here at Judd, I hope to bring with me my own unique way of delivering results. I am very goal focused and I refuse to give up. I am good at pinpointing leads and contacts that have never been tried and making them a top priority. I understand how important it is to work as part of a team and to communicate with each other. To me, communication is key and a major value to any sales team. As well as being a team player, I am also capable of working independently and being self-motivated. Not only that, and if need to do so, I can also put my hand to other requirements, such as administration, customer services, and dealing with social media. It would be a great opportunity for me to be a part of Judd Medical, and I look forward to bringing my dedication, determination, and loyalty to the company. Slightly off topic, but I did just want to share that with you, and well, it, it got me the job there, so it's a bonus so what else have i got in my bag we have got my glasses i do indeed have to wear glasses because i cannot see very small print i have to 
Oh my god, I've just broke my glasses. Oh my god, I've just broke my glasses. Why did that just happen? Oh my god, guys. Honestly. Oh, what the fuck am I going to do now? Oh my god, there's no, I can't even afford a pair. Look. Well, I'll sort of give you an idea of what they look like. Oh, if I like it or not, I'm going to have to get myself some new glasses because I need my glasses because otherwise I can't read things properly. So let's just pop those back in there for now. Let's pretend that just did not happen. Uh, and, and this is the nice glasses case. I do like to keep them in. It's just why I'm a little bit confused as to why that happened. Pissed off to the max now. Okay, what else have we got in here? We have headphones. Okay, with my phone because I do like to listen to music on the way to work. It just chills me out and gets me into a good zone. So, yeah, I always like to keep those with me. We've got some tin foil that may be from one of my smoothie jars. Probably the one with the green lid because it's got a hole in the top we can put a straw in. So obviously you have to keep it sealed. So that's probably why that's in there. Ah, I forgot I had these. My co-op raspberry cashews, nuts and berries. I brought these sometime last week and I thought if I keep those in my bag, if I get peckish, I can have a chow on them. So then um, we've got my original notes that I must have put together at the weekend and then obviously when I went into work, I typed up my presentation properly. I can go in the bin as well. We've got some hand sanitizer. This is from Cousins Care Extensive Angel. I always like to keep hand sanitizer with me because well, you just don't know what kind of you know dirty gits are about basically. You get people that go to the toilet and don't wash their hands, or people that sneeze into their hands and I've got to think about germs, basically, and, um, yeah. I've got my Slim Fruits. Picked these up from Asta a couple of weeks ago. I, think I, um, I paid for £1.50 for these, and these are sugar-free, fat-free, and 40% fibre. Luscious peach milba flavoured pastels, less than two calories per sweet. I thought if I bought these... If, if like, because I have got a very sweet top, and because I'm on this diet, I can't eat sweets. So I thought if I grab these, if so, can, if, if for example, I just couldn't give in to my craving for sugar, if I had one of those, then it would sort that out for me. But as you can see, they're not even open, so I obviously haven't been that bad. <coughs> ah. Trying to do make sure these don't bloody snap. Got a pair of shades. These must have been the last ones that I wore. Even though I have to eat, haven't put them because I've got quite a few sunglasses. So I can put those back with the others now. Those I think some cheap ones I found in Primark or no, there wasn't Primark. I found these ones in Asda. I think I, they were reduced to 150 or something like that. Um got some Perfume, so for me, I think I found this in Super Drug. Can't remember how much I paid. It might have been a fiver. It's just a cheap perfume. I don't tend to like carrying my expensive ones around with me just in case anything happens to them. We've got a pen. Pens are always good to have. And lastly, we've got my makeup bag that I like to keep in there all the time. Uh, as you can see, it's one of the swellers. Bit my dear. And that was part of um, the bath pamper hamper thing. I, I bought it last year. I'm sure if you went for my videos, you would find that review that I did on it. So let's just take everything out of here just to show you what it is that I carry around me on a daily basis. Well, little hairbrush to so give my hair. A brush you know has to be done we've got a lip balm this is from a company called flutter you can find these in super it smells like strawberries 
and this was a present of Jessica from Christmas. I have got my gold spot mouth spray because you never know when you might have smelly breath. So, quick squirt of that sorts it out. My body sharp frosted cranberry hand cream, which features in my September favourites yesterday. As I said, I like to keep this on me at all times if I need to moisturise my hands. I can do so. We've got some wet ones. Fragrance free of alloy, hypergelic for sensitive skin, antibacterial wipes. And the reason why I picked these up wasn't actually just for me to, I don't know, use on my hands if I want to, if I got dirty or anything like that. I actually bought them because at work we they had they had cleaners but they didn't seem to clean the desks which really wound me up and I like to keep my desk clean so I bought these so I could use them to wipe my desk down with. And I believe I found these in Asda for about 50 pence. It's got a memory stick. This has got all my tenders and quotes and info that was important to me during my time uh, image i cannot bear to part with this memory stick uh, there's also information on there that belongs to my old boss as well so it's kind of like if he ever needs them i can back him up and go here you go he's a copy because for some reason he sent them to me so yeah um Got a tampax, not that I actually need to use these, but you never know. There, there has been occasions when I've had colleagues of mine come up to and go, I don't suppose you've got a spare tampax or towel, have you? So if that occasion ever arises, at least I am able to go, yes, yes I do. Got my Gucci compact mirror. Love this. It's part of a perfume set. Uh, it came with my Gucci... Ooh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it was gold and it was pretty and it smells of freaking tits. But that is my posh little compact mirror that I like to keep with me. Because I need to touch my makeup. And what I do tend to do as well is that if I'm wearing a particular lipstick that day, I also take that with me and I'll keep it in there. But today, I don't need to do so because I'm not at work. Um... A spare phone battery just in case because my phone's knackered basically and for some reason it only happens now and then it'll last for a few weeks and then I'll go back to normal it's like the charge on my battery won't last very long in fact I can charge it up it'd be 100% in the morning by the time I get to work it's already down to 76 and it's only a 15 minute walk from my house to Logic and um, by midday it'll be down to about 23 and then by well, before even five o'clock it's, it's dead so i bought myself a spare battery just in case so i charge them both up on the night pop that one in there so when the other one's dying i could switch and my life was saved because we can't be without our mobile phones now can we and the last thing that was in there is my little tissues from kleenex these are ultra soft for one's dainty little nose so yeah if you need to blow it's not out sorted however come the weekend and days like this when i'm not at work i prefer to downsize and use a much smaller bag like this one for example which i picked up for three pounds because it was reduced in guess what that's right primark so what's in there well firstly we've got my phone that's it the infamous phone with the dodgy battery it's a samsung s3 it's ancient i know but until it dies completely i refuse to change it so there's that and uh, this is the actual lip uh, product i'm using today it's from maybelline Superstay power gloss um I've had this forever. I believe it's actually sent to me by Claire. Can't read what the shade is because my glasses are broke, so I can't even put them on to magnify what that bloody says. But it's a nice neutral shade. I don't think it's on my lips now. I think it might have worn off. Uh, I've got my glasses. As you can see, this 
lots of shit on there basically and we've got right door key a few little thingies whatever uh, got front door key got that little tie there got a beer bottle opener a little tag here that says Michael Jackson I'm used to putting my glasses on how am I going to cope with that then I do not know okay so what else have we got on there uh, a torch very bright picked that up from um, a stand at an exposition that I went to Charlotte Image uh, another front door key uh, my old tag which sat me in when I was at Image why I've still got it I don't know but I can't bear to part with it it's like a little memory I've got some I don't even know what these keys are for but I best not chuck them away just in case and and that's it that's that's my keys um variety of little prettiness going on there and, uh, like a little yeah. and finally we have my purse which is from a company called Radley uh, it's a posh posh purse this and it comes with this pocket here which I have keep money in and I've got some change which I don't tend to always like carrying cash with me because I just get bored in case I get robbed basically but Pounds, couple of but it's about two pound fifteen change there, and then we have one of the new ten pound notes. Doing DD, as you can see, I'm incredibly rich. And then on the other side is where I keep my cards. So I've got the bank card, I've got my super drug card, I've got my rent card, I've got an old post office card, I've got my water bill card, I've got, what have we got here, library card, old train ticket, oh yeah, this is my mate Sally, she makes handmade Christmas riffs, so that's her business card, I've got a few other cards in there, I don't know what else have we got, I've got my birth certificate, Got a receipt. Ah, oh, this is a receipt I made the ex white at because at one point he was bullying me, telling me he was going to take everything out of the house. But in reality, the only thing that he really, really wanted was to take fish that his mum and dad bought us one Christmas. Well, not that long ago. When did he actually do 26th of August? Oh, so this time last year -ish. He offered to sell it to me for 80 quid, so I made him right out. A receipt to prove that he did so but he had a telling around and said that's my telling and I can go fuck you it's not it's mine because you sold it to me so do one uh, so I forgot oh yeah this is my that, what did I write that hand for it's my email address and the past oh I know it's when I first started at logic I think I wrote that down on that piece of paper so I knew what it was so I, I could log in while I was at work and finally we have some of my old business cards from when I was at Image. So just in case anybody thought I was talking porcupines. There it is in black and white, Samantha Ward, marketing executive. I even had my own direct line so people could call me straight directly. And um, yeah, oh, that is basically everything that I keep in my bags. And just in case I didn't mention why I did this, well, I was requested to do it by one of my subscribers called Kelly. She actually emailed me, bless her. She did indeed. She emailed me and gave me a few ideas of what she would like to see me do. So thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, and that is the first of my, well, your requests done, sorted, diff. So that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If there's anything you would like to see me do, let me know. You can send me a message on there. You can send me a message via email. You can even 
leave a comment down below if you want do what you want if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'm gonna bugger off now and drink my green tea before it gets too cold you have a great day now guys i'll see you soon bye for now